Uh, Morgan White is a male human being, um, approximately five foot seven, five foot eight. Is he taller than me? No. It's a little bit shorter, I think. Five, I'm 5'10", five so I'm going to go with 5'8". Well, Morgan White is a documentary filmmaker with uh, one full-length feature film documentary under his belt and a new feature-length film documentary about to come out. Um, I know he also likes the Goonies a lot. He's a big fan of the Goonies. Maybe his next documentary will be about the Goonies. <laughs> I'm awful. I'm the worst. I'm the worst man alive. Hi, I'm Morgan White, and I sometimes moonlight as a documentary filmmaker. Um, although I will say that I didn't get into documentary intentionally. It kind of just fell into my, my hands, as it were. I bought a camera when I was 16 with the money that I made from my first big job. Uh, I got $1,500 over the course of a summer, and I went and blew $1,000 of it on a camera, which to a 16-year-old is an absurd amount of money to spend. Um, and something that I was really afraid my parents were going to question, but they didn't question it at all. They totally understood what I was doing. Um, so when I was a kid, I made movies all the time with my friends. Like every weekend, we would be making little shorts and stuff. Um, and those were, that was me realizing that that was what I wanted to do. So that was something that I needed to go through to be able to get to the point that I'm at now. Um, I completed the rep about three years ago, almost three years ago to the day. Um, I, uh, yeah, the underground closed three years ago last week and we uh, went to Austin to premiere the festival in October. So it's, it's been three years since we finished the film. Um, but yeah, to get the whole project going and, 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 and doing it, it all came from the fact that I just love movies and I love repertory cinema. And when the underground had opened, <clears throat> about a week after that, I had gone to talk to the guys uh, who ran it and proposed an idea of doing uh, a web series, which would be much more ab about you know, promoting the theater and little fun bits and kind of an office-y style thing. And if you watch the web series, it still has that, that feel. Uh, and through the course of shooting, what started as like I'd go one, two nights a week became going five, six, seven nights a week. And I just stayed there all the time filming and realized that the story was much greater than anything that I could tell within the context of short 10-minute bursts. Um, and the decision to make a movie kind of stemmed from that. It was never something that I set out to do. It was never something that I thought I would ever do, make a documentary film. Um, but it just kind of happened naturally, and I think that is the best way for anything to happen. Morgan White is a, is a dear friend. Um, he's worked very hard in the film world uh, for a number of years now. Um, his, his first uh, feature, the, the, his first documentary, The Rep, was fantastic. Um, I think we all, we're all very ha proud and, and happy as to what he's accomplished over the last couple of years. His next, his next feature, the, the, the Ruby Slippers, which will be that, that Wizard of Oz documentary he's doing, I really can't wait to see what he does with, does with that because it's a larger budget. I, as far as I know, it's a larger budget. Um, and it's just interesting to see what he can, he can do with it because I know he loves the subject matter so much. And, and if anybody makes any kind of film or any kind of uh, anything to do with film, they really have to love the project before they even take it on. And that's something he has. He has a love for that project and, and every project he takes on. Um, he's, he's smart, he's, he's, uh, he's a definitely a go-getter. Um, I really can't wait to see what he has next in store.